Alors voilà, c'est grand boys. New Donkey, new Epic Season, new Pokémon, new Donkey. Our review. I cannot. No, no, no. Hold on, I cannot believe this. This is un. This is can't believe this. This is can't believe this stuff. You guys, I cannot believe this. That this that act this, I don't believe. This is that stuff that I don't believe. <clears throat> you guys, Game Freak made a fun Pokemon game. <laughs> fun Pokemon game. <laughs> For years, Pokemon has been the kid at the front of the bubbler line who will not stop drinking from the bubbler. There's like a sure. line of 50 people behind them all getting very agitated and he just keeps going like nobody's there. Pokemon Red, Blue, Ooh. Yellow, Gold, Silver, Crystal, Ruby, Sapphire, Fire, Red, All good. Green, all Emerald, good. Diamond, all Pearl, good. Platinum, all Purple, good. Soul Silver, Black, Six. White, Black, Sea, White 2, X, Y, Omega, Ruby, Alpha, Sapphire, Sun, Moon, Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee, Sword, Shield, Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl. That is a lot of fucking Pokemon games. But if we're actually being real, that is one video game. Pokemon Arceus is the reinvention this franchise has needed for over a decade. When fans dreamed of playing a Pokemon RPG on home consoles back in the GameCube era, this is probably what they yeah, had. I'm gonna say, Jack, guys, Pokemon Yellow was way ahead of its time, right? Pokemon Yellow, the, the first, the, one of the first ones with the Pikachu on it, the fact that you could have, you had your yeah. own Pikachu and it would interact and he'd be sad and happy, nuts. Sometimes you'd be unhappy, and you'd be like, why? Why is it unhappy? And you could actually ball the fact that the Pikachu was unhappy, and it was just fucking pixels that are so pixelized, it's like blurry shit. And like, like, but it doesn't open with a bang. Happy? Instead, you have to slog through a very talky, very tedious tutorial, which goes on for way too long and teaches you nothing until eventually the game sets you free. And then more talking, though. That's what I said. People said, dude, dude, it's a dialogue game. It's a dialogue. You got mad at me, dude. Roaming around big open environments, battling and capturing Pokemon. This is where Pokemon really shines. Capturing Pokemon in real time is a genius level move. It's very immediate and visceral. It's kind of like a third person shooter where you snipe Pokemon from across the realm with Pokeballs. The traditional turn based battles are much faster than usual. And, and less no delay. Victory yeah, screen. Yeah, and I didn't know something they answered very, very good though. Is that the uh, the intro and the outro of of, of, of uh, uh, in, uh, uh, encounters was a fucking annoying. And I think this does a good job at cutting through that. Most battles are decided in one move. Either you kill them in one hit, or they kill you in one hit. You could probably oh my God! Twenty fights. A in the famous time person's take relationship. Jeez, wait! I can't wait to see the breakup. I do in two months. Richest patch. Who the fuck are you? Pokemon Red that keeps casting Harden on itself like an asshole. Pokemon level up quick, gaining shared XP from real-time captures and battles, but I never felt comically overpowered like Pokemon Sword, where my Grookey became an untouchable god one hour into the game. In Arceus, enemies that are 10 levels below you can still deal True. serious damage. Now think That's back what I said to it. my Let's Go Pikachu review. What did I say? Well, so I said that that game was terrible because it didn't have a dodge roll. This game has a dodge roll because it's Dark Souls and Zelda. Predicted. Dark is simplistic, but there's a little strand type climbing in there to give it some flavor. You can get a horsey and a climbing guy and a flying guy. If you take the gameplay elements and evaluate them in a vacuum, they're not mind blowing. It's the way that you cycle through them though so rapidly that makes this game feel alive in a way that the older titles do not. Graphically, there really? are games that look worse than this on the GameCube, but the true weakness here is the story. For a game with no story true. to tell, this game has a lot of dialogue boxes. The story here is one of the most soulless, uninspired stories I have ever seen in a video game. This is disgraceful, this is embarrassing, and it gives me a whole new perspective and appreciation for something like Final Fantasy VII Remake or even fucking Xenoblade. Uh... Even with something like Kingdom Hearts 3, at least I can make a funny video out of that, you know? Trying to make fun of Pokemon stories like trying to make fun of a rock. There's just Pokemon nothing direct to tomorrow. Work with. At least put in some funny voice acting or something, man. Come on, man. Game Freak's second game is like a collaboration between two rappers, where Kendrick wrote the code for the gameplay and Jake Paul wrote the storyline. 
Good review. Good review. Yes, I'm actually surprised you didn't shit out on a lot of these, uh, of, of, of the main cons of the game.